Hi, today I want to guide you through the rope exercise that you received by mail. Um, the first step is to log into Unifield. Um, go to the internet address as specified in the PDF and you will see this screen. The first step now is to select the database and we'll log into project one of Mali. Uh, type in the username, which is supply log and the password change three. And then you click on login. This will get you to the home screen of Unifield. Um, it is a website, so it has the same layout as basically every other website you know, with a menu bar up here with a couple of options to choose from. Um, you can also see that we logged into project one of Mali with the user supply log and that the last synchronization was okay. But let's get started with the exercise. So the first part of the exercise is to create a product list. For this, we head over to the products application and then choose the module product list from the menu on the left. This will get us to the overview, the search view of the product list. We can see there's a couple of product lists already in the system, but we want to create a new one. So we click on new. So this brings us to this screen. Um, the type is a list. The name is NFI items and my name, which is Dennis. Um, the product creator should be project. Uh, the description is basic NFI items. And now I can start adding the products. To add products, um, there's a couple of ways, but as we have multiple items to add, we basically use this one, add multiple products. If I click it, it will get me to this screen where we can see a list of all the multiple products we want to add. Currently, the list is empty. To add items, I just click on add. So this is the search view for the products. And we can see there's a couple of fields here for code, old code, description, location, lists, and also a couple of nomenclature filters. We will use all of these um, to find the products for our list. So the first item we want to add is blankets. So I head over to the descriptions field and enter blankets. Hit enter. And now it will show me all the items in our product database that have the word blanket in their description. You can see blanket is in all of the descriptions. To select one of the items, you can check the checkbox in the front of the line. Um, I'll select this blanket. And now I can see that there's one item selected and um, I can move on. The next item is jerry cans. So in the field descriptions, I enter jerry can and I can then click search. This will show me all the jerry cans in the system. Over here, you will see that um, we have 17 items with this word in the description. Um, I will choose jerry can food grade plastic 20 liters plus screw cap. I'll check the checkbox and move on. In the descriptions field, I enter soap to look for the soap, hit enter, and it will show me all the soap items that we have in our product list. Um, I will select this one. Now, actually, I can see that I have a, a huge quantity of this item, so I'll select this one go up to the description and now I'll search for cups. Wow, I can see that there's a lot of cups in our product database, but I'm only interested in logistical cups. So in the main type of the nomenclature filter, I click on logistical items and then on search and it will show me only the uh, cups that are logistical. Perfect. I think this cup is exactly what we're looking for. So I select it. I can see I've already four uh, items selected. Now for the last item, um, which will be spoons. So I enter spoon. And I know that I only want to see spoons that are in the 
PCOO family. So I enter PCOO in the code and if I click on search now, I will only see spoons that are in this code family. Um, I think the perfect spoon for us is the teaspoon stainless. So I'll select it. Now I have my five items together and if I click on select, they will be added to the list that we saw earlier, which was empty. Now the five items are here. And if I click on add products, they will be added to my product list. Bam, there we are, all products in our product list. So now I can go ahead and click on save.